Hey guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to be going through my Sephora loves list and discussing what I'm interested in buying during the upcoming VIB sale. So I already have a recommendations video up, but I thought it would be fun to discuss the makeup that I personally want to buy. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get into it. So I have a ton of makeup on my wish list. I'm not going to be getting all of this. Some of these things I am going to wean out, but this is just what I'm, I've been eyeing up for a while and I, I have on my list so far. I do have a lot of gift cards, so that will give me some of this, thankfully. Okay, so the first product I have on my wish list is from Lawless. This is one of their Forget the Filler Definer Lip Liners, and I want the shade Pink Sand. So this is supposed to be a clean ingredient, sustainably sourced vegan lip liner that delivers a rich, highly pigmented payoff in one tug-free stroke. I love that. To me, the very perfect lip liner is one that doesn't tug, that is not too stiff, but also that isn't too, too creamy where it's just gonna slide around. And I just, I'm dying to try this out. And in that same vein, I also really wanna try out the Forget the Filler lip gloss that she released. That one has been out of stock for a while, but I'm hoping it will be back in stock by the time the sale rolls around. But I definitely, definitely want to pick up one of these liners. I've been absolutely obsessed with lip liners lately, so I definitely want to pick this one up. The next product is one I've been eyeing off and on for a while, and I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get it. I did try a sample of it recently, and I really, really liked it. And this is the Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Concealer. I have heard amazing things about this concealer. So I think it's just time I try it out and pick it up. I did try that sample, I absolutely loved it. So I think I do just want to pick it up. And the next product is from Charlotte Tilbury. You will notice there is a lot of Charlotte Tilbury on this list. That is just because I love Charlotte Tilbury. I do. I am such a big fan of hers as a person, but also any makeup that I've tried from her, I've really loved. So even though the price point is really steep, now's, now's the time. So you will see a lot of Charlotte Tilbury in this video. Um, so the next thing is the Pillow Talk Eyeshadow Quad. I just think this is beautiful. I think it's a beautiful everyday option. I think it's so beautiful. And I just think you're obviously going to be limited with the looks that you can create, but it's just so beautiful. <laughs> so I really do want to try this and it looks like it'd be super flattering. So this is high on my list, but at the same time, I might actually take it off. I haven't fully decided if I want it yet. I just, I'm just not sure. It's so pricey for what it is. And you know, I have her flawless eye quad already. And I, I love it, but it, it wasn't something that knocked my socks off. So I'm not 100% sure if I want to pick this up. I really want it, but I'm not sure. Okay. The next one that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get is from Tarte. This is their new Power Bar Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette. So I've noticed Tarte's been releasing some new products recently, but I also noticed that it has not been posted really online on their, on Trend Mood, hasn't been posting it. Um, Tarte's website, Tarte's own Instagram really hasn't been posting these things, I don't think. They're, they've also come out with like a new blush, a new bronzer, and some eye products, and none of that was like announced, posted, they just kind of slid these products into Sephora. So they're a little bit under the radar. But this is, again, the Power Bar Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette. Yes, this is super nude, super boring, but I think it's so beautiful and I really, really do want to pick this guy up. It's just very me. So I probably am going to grab that guy. I also need to pick up another of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I am out of mine and I just love it. So it's on my list to pick up. That one doesn't need any further explanation. I am also dying to try the Charlotte Tilbury Air Airbrush Matte Bronzer. I just think it looks so beautiful. I've been wanting it since it came out, but it is 65 Canadian dollars. So 
I wasn't going to pick it up right away, but now I think I'm ready to finally invest and pick it up during the sale. Everybody raves about this. It looks so beautiful and I think that's definitely going to be something I pick up. Okay, and another new product from Tarte is the Quick Stick Waterproof Shadow and Liner. So on one end you get so on one end you get a cream shadow stick and the other end is your liner, which I think is really cool and like a really great way to save time. Cream shadow, liner out the door kind of thing. That sounds really great. And of course the one I put down is the matte tan and brown liner. So I think this looks really pretty. I think it's kind of innovative. So I did put this on my list. I'm still not 100% sure if I'm going to pick it up, but I am curious about it. So it's on my list. I also have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. Again, this is another one. So expensive. I convinced myself I don't need it, but I still really, really, really want it. And after like six months, I still want it. I should probably just get it. I know the number seven powder is supposed to be a dupe, but we don't have access to that powder here in Canada, so I can't even get that one to appease myself. So I'm positive this one's staying on the list too. I also added one of Charlotte Tilbury's Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Eyeshadows, and I chose the color Champagne. This just looks pretty. <laughs> this looks so pretty. I don't use a ton of cream shadow, but this is definitely one I can see myself reaching for regularly if I had it in my collection. I would just leave it on my everyday vanity and just kind of use it that way. That's why I've got that one there. Um, I also added in the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And this is a potted concealer, which isn't something I usually go for, but I've heard a lot of people say that it's really amazing for spot concealing and it is super, super full coverage. So it kind of spoke to me in that way. So I, that's why it's on my list and I'm, I am heavily debating it. Again, I have a lot of concealers in my collection. I already have the Pat McGrath concealer on here, but so I've just been kind of debating over this one. I could probably wait on it, so I probably will, but I'm just not sure yet. A new product from Laura Mercier. This is the Secret Camouflage Correct and Brighten Concealer Duo Stick. This one was released recently and it's got my attention because one end is supposed to be like a brightener, so like a color corrector, and the other end is your concealer. I'm still debating over this one. I want it, but I don't think I need it right away, um, especially because again, I already do have a concealer that I'm dead set on here on my cart, so. I just, I just think it's really cool how you get a corrector and a concealer, and that's kind of why this one has my attention. That one remains a maybe, but it's, I guess it's not my very first choice, so we'll see where I land on that one. I also have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Longwear Foundation. Um, I've also chosen the shade 3 Cool in that one. That one just looks beautiful. I've heard so many people say how beautiful that foundation is, how full coverage, how flawless it looks, and it just makes me, I just really, really want to try it out. However, I can see me knocking this one off the list and then maybe purchasing it during the fall VIB sale just because I have so many foundations on the go right now and I really do kind of need to work my way through those. So I think I might actually just take that one off my list for now. That's fair. That's reasonable. I just, I do have a lot of foundations that I need to get through. That's fair. And I have a lot that I like, so I'll be okay without that one for a while. Okay, and the next two products are both blushes. The first one is from Lawless. This is the Make Me Blush Talk Free Velvet Blush. This is the shade Vintage Love. Again, this one has gotten amazing reviews since it was released, I think, back in the summer. It's just gotten amazing, amazing reviews, and I really want to try it. I love Lawless as a brand. It's so good. Anything I've tried from them, I've loved. I love Annie Lawless as a businesswoman. I just love everything, so I kind of do want to pick up one of the blushes. And the final product I have in my cart is from Patrick Ta. This is the Major Beauty Headlines Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. And I have added the shade She's So LA. I already have this in She's That Girl and I love it so much. But I've also been very curious about this one. I think it would just give such a beautiful, natural kind of bronzy look to the skin. 
I know you could do the same thing with a bronzer, so I might take that off. I'm not sure where I'm going to land with that one yet, but that's it, you guys. Those are my choices. That is what is in my cart right now that's on my VIB sale wish list. And again, I might knock some of those products off just in the interest of saving some money and just not needing every single thing that I like. But... I'm going to agonize over what to take out of my cart. Um, yeah, are you guys planning to shop the sale? Do you guys have any of the same kind of, any of the same products on your wish list? Are there any you think I should add to mine? If so, please comment down below. I would be so interested to revisit my wish list. But yeah, that's all I have for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. I so appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!